gonna get this slide put out and then I'll show you where we're at. This afternoon, I brought you up to the Spider Lake Recreation Area. We're just north of Bacchus, Minnesota. This forest has about 30 miles of ATV and off-road vehicle trails and trails for truck campers too. Well, I came across a spot up on a hill overlooking a lake. I saw a fire ring out there. There's no picnic tables or anything. We're gonna call this home for the weekend. This is all right. We even got snow out there. Let's go see if we can get a better look at that fire pit. Well, that's going to work out real nice. My plans this weekend are just to enjoy nature, be out here alone. It's going to be awesome. Very possible we'll have some ATVs roll through this weekend, but that's no problem. I don't mind the ATVs at all. They're out here doing the exact same thing I am, just enjoying the forest. see if I just can't get this cleaned up a little bit in here that way I'm not dragging so much snow into the camper In a video last winter, I mentioned while I was out at a campground that I couldn't go forage for wood. You have to buy the state approved firewood, but that's just in parks. Out here in the forest, we go cut up wood. I just don't have a saw. I have this. I get a lot of questions on what is that little gel block you use to start your fire? Well, they're called fast fires and I pick them up at a local grocery store. They come in an 18 pack and they're five bucks. They work really well. They start the fire every time. I'm not sure if this snow is supposed to stick around all day. We do got a lake back here, but this weekend, I don't think I'm gonna get any fishing done. This weekend's gonna be just about relaxing. of a win this afternoon. It'd be nice if it can stay like this. I think I'm going to set up the tripod again tonight. Cook something over the fire. With this overcast bill, it's probably going to be dark in a few hours. It's only like one o'clock, but probably only have three hours left. I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different tonight. I'm making a pizza from scratch right over the grate. Well, not completely from scratch. Let me show you what I got. For me, what really makes a good pizza, it's got to be the crust. And we got three places in town that I like. They're all their own style. Rafferty's Pizza, Dobro's, and then my third, and probably my favorite, it's got to be Casey's Pizza. Because who doesn't love a good Casey's Pizza? So what I did is I asked 
I could just buy their pizza dough. And we're gonna try and smoke a pizza over the campfire using Casey's dough. <laughs> this should be pretty interesting. I think that's how they do it on TV. Let's get this dough stretched out. Got zero experience here, but I watched the YouTube video, so we should be good. That fits pretty good. Surprise myself sometimes. Some guy in a video said you gotta put holes in it. We'll give it a shot. Let's get this ready for some toppings. First up, little olive oil. And I like Canadian bacon on my pizza. A couple of pieces of spinach and a little bit more cheese. We're gonna call it good. That is a good looking pizza. I almost wanna just throw it in the oven because the campfire outside is just an experiment. I'm gonna try and get it up to about 500 degrees, put this in, I'm thinking maybe six, seven minutes. We're gonna be able to eat before dark tonight. That doesn't happen very often. It's about 15 degrees out, eight mile an hour wind. I'm gonna use the table as a wind block. Hopefully we can keep that oven about 500 degrees. Smoker's gonna come in handy again tonight. We got our pizza inside. I do have the pan on the bottom and that's just to protect it from the direct heat. I think we'll put the door on, give it a spin, keep it moving under that fire. I'm gonna give it a good five minutes before I open that door. It's just prime conditions out here for experimenting. First peak, not too bad. I think that bottom pan's gonna need to come out. Good news is it doesn't look like it's burning and it definitely smells like a Casey's pizza. Since the flames are just about done, we're gonna lower this down closer to the coals, really put the heat to it, and I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, that's perfect. The bottom, nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna take it in. Tell me that's not an absolute beautiful pizza. Let's cut into this guy. Let's check out the bottom. Hot, not too bad at all. I'm gonna let it cool off for a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be good. It had a chance to cool off and it's an excellent pizza. The only problem is it's a little hard on the bottom. It's not burned, but if you make pizzas, you have to let me know what's the trick. I don't know, maybe my temperatures were just too high. The rest of the pizza cooked great. This crust, wonderful. I mean, who doesn't love a Casey's pizza? We're gonna go outside here in just a little bit. Let me finish supper. I actually left to come up here last night. I got off work Friday and it was raining most of the day and, and it started snowing, the roads were horrible. I got into a state forest and found a place on Perch Lake, just a single dispersed campsite. I was gonna stay there. The road in was just too sketchy and I almost got stuck. So I found another spot and it was a state forest campground on Bass Lake. Something just didn't feel right about it. It wasn't what I was looking for. So I found a dispersed campsite on Gulch Lake. Stayed there last night. I woke up this morning at about 6.30 because I heard some clanking outside the truck. And there's three vehicles that pulled in right beside me and one of them right in between me and the fire ring. I was like, well, this ain't gonna work. They were just going out fishing. So I almost tossed the whole idea of making a video. On the way home, I decided, well, I'm gonna swing in through here and 
see if I can find anything. I'm glad I did. This is a beautiful state forest. I bet we've gone a mile or more. We should probably start heading back. These woods are so quiet in the winter time. You can hear a pin drop in these woods. I've been watching for signs of wildlife. I'm not seeing any tracks at all. The trees are cracking from the wind blowing though. I'll give you an idea of how dark it is out here. You can't see anything. I can't even see my hand in front of my face. Hopefully this light doesn't die on me. Wow. Just like that, the flashlight went out. We got back just in time. I think this thing has like a 35 minute run time. We got, I don't know, a mile down the road probably. <laughs> that was lucky right there. I got the camper all cleaned up. Best thing about going to bed is get to wake up in the morning and have coffee. Look at that, the sun's finally come out. It's a beautiful day. Don't let that fool you. It's about eight degrees right now with a 10 mile an hour wind. I did leave the slide out all night long. Sometimes in the winter, I'll bring the slide in just so that way the wind can't get up through those seals. I've been having no problems keeping the camper at about 68 degrees this morning. It cycles on and off. Once I started that generator, I turn on an electric furnace, keep that going. The place that stays cold in the camper is always by that front door. It's not uncommon to see snow and ice down there. That little electric heater will get that melted away. This morning I've just been working on the computer, doing a little editing. I realized that for the first two hours of this video I left my audio off. <laughs> oh, such an amateur. That's all right. This morning I was going to show you some of the upgrades that I've done inside the camper just to make it a little bit more comfortable. I know I told you last weekend that the truck camper is pretty much stock and it really is. I've just done little minor upgrades. so. Maybe I'll show you what I've done to make this thing a little bit more comfortable. Those of you with an Arctic Fox may notice that this dinette looks a little bit different. And it's because I removed this back from the seating area. It really kind of opened this up more, especially when the slide is in. Over there, you can see the whole window now. Before, that wasn't possible. So you can see with this seat back, it cut off a good portion of that window, even when the slide's all the way out, where it really made a difference is when the slide's in. Taking this piece out just opened up this area, made it easier to get in and out. So here's what it looks like walking into the camper when the slide's in. 
I don't have a whole lot of room. And when this backing piece was in here, this was all covered up as well. Now I can carry groceries in here without this getting in the way for an hour's worth of work. That was a really good modification. Now I can reach the door handle too because it used to be blocked off when the slide was in. And some of the upgrades, although they look cosmetic, they serve a purpose, like the vinyl backsplash behind the stove. Makes it really easy to wipe down when you're done cooking. And I've never lost anything off the magnet holder while driving down the road. Another cosmetic modification is gonna be this piece of metal inside the refrigerator door. I bought that at the Home Depot cut it and glued it in place. Now it can display the magnets of all the different areas that I visited. The idea to put the mirror up top, well that came from the Northern Light and Bigfoot truck campers. I like how when you're inside it just feels a lot more spacious having that mirror in there. And I had to replace my bathroom vanity maybe a year or so ago and I stuck the mirror inside that top door. It works out really well. Time for a refill. Someone asked about the candles once. They serve two purposes as well. First of all, the candle does give off a little bit of heat, but more so what it's doing, is it's masking the smells of the campfire and all the cooking goes on inside the camper. Plus, I just like the way it makes it feel in here. Amazing how fast the weekend goes. I think we just about got this video in the bag. It's back to the real world tomorrow. So I gotta get laundry done. My plow truck, it's got a crank, no start issue. I gotta figure out what's going on there. We'll do this again next week. So until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road. I got my keys.